everyone, brand new year, first video of the year. Uh, I know I've had a bit of time off these last couple of weeks, I've only uploaded like two videos. Um, so my last video was actually my Christmas Day vlog, but today we are back with a brand new video and I am doing a pretty big haul from Cherries. I have two huge boxes here in front of me. So I'm getting stocked up on all of the cleaning products, ready to go, ready to have clear outs, clean ups and everything you wanna do when it gets to 2021. I don't know about you, but I am that sort of person that likes to get the decorations down. I like to clean, I like to have everything organized. The festivities have gone, the Christmas decorations are down. I'm ready to give the house a bit of a clean. Before I get into showing you the bits that I did pick up from Cherries, I wanted to just firstly mention these books that I have because I feel like this would be a good time if you wanted to get your hands on similar things yourself then now's the time to do so. I've got a collection of four different books that I am going to be following throughout 2021. Firstly this is a diary so I'll show you this one it's even personalized with Freya on it. I absolutely love this it's from a brand called The Inspired Stories and on the front it just has 2021 Freya and then it's basically a bit of a guided journal at the beginning where you can look do a bucket bucket list, 2020 review, brainstorming areas, and then it goes into the detailed monthly breakdowns with individual weekly reflections. And I just really like this. So this is going to be my 2021 diary. This is the 52 list project. I got this from TK Maxx. It's a year of weekly journaling inspiration. So at the start of every week, you basically do a little list of what they're asking you to do. So the, I'll just show you the first one in winter we start and list one list your goals and dreams for this year nice and simple and then take action what's the first step towards achieving your biggest goal pick one thing you can do this week to get started and then every week I've got a new list to sort of reflect on and fill out with that and then these two are more reflective journaling type things I just love the look of them as well they're like a linen so a really nice display book to have as well on display this is also from the inspired stories this is called today a three-year reflection journal again it's personalized with a little ff at the bottom there's a bit of a detail on how to use this journal and again what you do is you take it day by day you turn to the first page first of january what's your biggest goal right now and there's a little 20 there that you can just complete with 21 for this year 2021 what is your biggest goal right now you fill that in then you go to the next page Day two of January, was today peaceful or full of action? Fill it out. Number three, who is the closest to you? And then when it gets to the end of the year, you can then start it again with 2022 and follow the same question. And it's a really nice reflection on previous years as well. So I'm looking forward to completing that. And then this is a bit more generic, one line a day, so it could be something you're grateful for that day, something that happened that day, and essentially in the similar way that this one works, three-year journal, this one is a five-year memory book, so you start with 2021, and then you go back to the start of the book this time next year and complete it and carry on doing so for the next five years. So again, the fact that this is nice, looks aesthetically pleasing. This in a future office when we get renovations underway, I think will look beautiful on display and just a nice little reflective thing to do every day. So yeah, I just thought I would share them with you in case you weren't interested. I'll try and leave them all linked below. And then moving on to my humongous homeware haul, which I have to kickstart the year. I mean, this is ginormous. We have two of these huge boxes. Two of them. How is everyone feeling about 2021? Are we feeling positive? Are we feeling optimistic that we will see changes this year and hopefully make somewhat of a drastic improvement in the global situation right now? I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling good. I feel like better days are coming. That's all I'm gonna say. So, wow. Right, if you've not got yourself a coffee or tea right now and some snacks, whether they're healthy or not, I would recommend doing so because this might take a while. Cherries, if you 
you don't know, are a online um, retailer basically that sells lots of bargain household items, homeware related things and just lots of good bargains, which you guys know I love. They also have a discount code if you are a new user to the app. I will leave a direct link if you go through that link to the app and make your first purchase, you will get 20% off with the discount code FREYA20. It's really handy if you are not venturing out and about and you need to do a household type shop like this, but from the comfort of your own home. Cherries is that because it's all online. So. It's perfect. Anyway, I did pick up some little Christmassy, no, not necessarily Christmassy, you can use them all year round, but some wrapping bits post Christmas to stockpile in my kind of stationery drawer, spare cards drawer, that kind of thing. So I got these two in like a gold and a black glittery kind of color. I think I got a bronze colored one as well it'll be in there somewhere. I also got a little storage container which will be handy for kind of just I feel like January is that time of year that you get organized and get stuff done. So to have little containers like this, I might even purchase some more of these with a little gray lid. I think they had pink ones as well. If you saw our little creating an outdoor Christmassy grotto type thing with our new hot tub that we've got in the garden, I have previously bought from Cherries some uh, like plastic cups suitable for outside, but they're like tumbler shapes. So I thought I would get some champagne flutes because it'd be nice to have like a glass of champagne in hand in there without needing your actual nice glasses. I got this, which stood out to me. I have no idea how this will work, but it's called the Eat, from the brand Easy Cook, it's Crazy Chef Microwave Cleaner that you put, I think, do you put vinegar in it? Vinegar and water, squeeze of lemon juice, microwave for six minutes and then allow to stand for an additional two minutes and it cleans your microwave. I did get some more champagne flutes as well. I got some toothpaste. I feel like there's gonna be no method to this because if I just show you, it is literally just a box full of goodies. So yeah, there can't be a method to this or else it would take me far too long to get organized. Um, this is just a fun little gift card. They've got loads of seasonal bits actually. So obviously had loads of Christmas stuff at Christmas, but they've also got a seasonal section with some like old Halloween bits, Valentine's bits and more. So be sure to check that out. I did actually pick up some Christmassy festives of Flora's because I'm a fan and I always like to stockpile for next year. This one I actually use at this time of the year. It's in winter morning. And then this is such a fave, warm cinnamon. I just had to have a little pit stop then because Tom very kindly made me some pancakes. So yeah, anyway, back to it. Um, let's stick with some cooking supplies. I actually have these already and I've just stocked up on another set because I find them really useful. Just a baking tray, a large baking tray, and a medium, like, kind of deeper one. In terms of price points for all of these as well, most things on there are, are around about the pound mark, one to two pounds. I don't have prices for everything in front of me, unfortunately, but anyway, I got another one of these holders, containers. This one holds 800 mils, so it's like a smaller one. I also got this, which I thought would be handy. These are all from the Cook and Miller kitchenware range. An easy grip food grater with a container. I also picked up some more minky cloths. This is the glass and window one. This is my favorite one that they do, it's so good. And then I just use this like in the kitchen sink for pots and things, the little minky. Oh, I forgot I got this. So, oh, another one of those bow ribbon things in silver. Uh, I got Samaritz mousse, the lid just popped off. This one is in medium, which I feel is good for me to use at this time of the year because I'm actually very pale. I also got a tea towel. This is just like a plain black and white one, which we already have one of these, so I just got another one. I got a Febreze plug-in. This one is in Spiced Apple, limited edition. It was one of the Christmassy ones, but this is, um, it's festive, but it's also quite fruity, so I really like that. Oh, this would be good for New Year New Me if you're getting fit and healthy. This is a activity tracker, which you just put on your wrist and it's like counts your steps and everything. So I thought this would be quite handy to 
take on longer walks, even just to wear day to day. When I go on a long walk and the step account in your phone tracks just the steps that you do on the walk, to, to wear it around your wrist, you can obviously get all the steps that you do during the day as well. I also picked up some oval cotton pads. I am such a stationery lover, especially at this time of the year, just to get on track of everything, get organized. So this is just a small collection of the stationery that they have. This one is a weekly planner. And then I also got this one, all you gotta do is believe, and it's got just lined and a um, line notebook and then also this one i really like this it just says you got this on the front in like a gold foil and again this is just lined and then i also got a couple of black and white kind of geometric design ones again in a5 size this one is lined as well 120 pages and then there's this black and white striped one as well that goes a bit crazy with my eyes when I look at them together. Great if you're a list maker. This is perfect to go in a handbag because of the size of it. It's just a little 2021 week to view kind of calendar diary type thing. So good like on the go to just jot something down whilst you're out and about and this can be in your handbag and then you can get home and put it in your nice planner when you get home. Another one of the seasonal cards, this, I just love the design of this. This is a great Father's Day card. It just says best dad ever, happy Father's Day in like a kind of 1920s style, great Gatsby font and everything. I just really liked that design. If the camera angle keeps changing, I swear to God, I've got up and down filming this video about 10 times already. The door keeps going, Tom then made me food and my battery died. So I've just had to go and replace that. Moving on, another minky cloth. I got this general purpose one. This is just a yellow fuzzier kind of one, good for dusting. And then, does anyone else think of the Little Britain sketch, dust? Anybody know dust? Whenever I say dust, that's all I think of. And I saw this it's draft excluder tape. When we move down here and start the renovations upstairs, we're gonna be living out of this room as our bedroom. And I'm just looking at the windows now. They're all single glazed and they're all quite cold. So. This is like a backup for if we decide that it's too cold, that we can kind of put these along the edging of the windows just as a temporary fix to keep out the draft. We also needed a extension lead. So this is just a four way, two meter extension lead cable. I got a water bottle, stay hydrated. 2021 is the year to drink more and take this as your reminder to go and get a glass of water and stay hydrated. I also picked up an ice tray because we don't have one of those. Oh, I knew I'd picked up a bronzy colored one. There you go. Oh, I got another one of the um, plugins. This is from Ambi Pure and this one is in Frosted Pine, one of my favorite scents and definitely a wintry one that you don't have to have at Christmas, I think anyway. I also got as a Lynx body wash. This one is in the scent black, which is frozen pear and cedarwood, fresh charge. Sounds good. I do quite like to use men's ones, especially like deodorants as well. I just think they smell nicer. I am such a fan of baby powder when I get out of the shower. I don't know what it is, but just to get dry quick, I love using this. I got this set of two baskets. I just thought these would be really handy to have. They, they did have other colors. I obviously just opted for black, plain and simple. And then this is actually for the plug-in. Oh yes, I'm so excited for this. I picked us up the Grab and Go Monopoly, which I thought would be a fun little thing to play. You know, at this sort of time of year where it's, you're slowly getting back into the new year after the fun festive games you still want to get the games out then um yeah this is a little grab and go monopoly which is great for traveling as well if you want to take it with you pencil case i just got this plain and simple gray and white one i thought it you know what, it reminded me of the white company do one that's just like this but it's like a small little um makeup bag or makeup brush holder bag type thing and this is obviously a bargain in comparison so yeah little gray and white faux leather pencil case oh i got another one of these little storage containers now i know all of their sizes i might go back and pick up more to have them thinking long-term pantry everything organized and labeled up our plug in our temporary bathroom upstairs is currently not working well it's not that it's not working the plug didn't come with the house so i can't have a bath which is so annoying so i'm going to try this and see if this works it's just a sink strainer and plug 
to prevent your drains from blocking. So it's meant for the kitchen, I think, but I'm just gonna try it and see if that plug fits our bath plug so that I can actually have a bath. And then this is a little fairy long lasting scouring pad thing. There's a set of three in here. Oh, some of my faves. You guys know I love these. I stock up on these every time I go into like home bargains, B&M, cherries. I just love them. I needed a tape measure the other day, couldn't find one. So I saw this one on cherries and decided to pick it up. So now I have one. I also stocked up on a little mini of the micellar water from Garnier. This is what I use to take off my makeup every day as a first cleanse, like a pre-cleanse to my actual cleanser. And then I stocked up on some of these Filippo Berrio, um, like pesto sauce things. So there's a tomato and ricotta pesto, that sounds good. A char grilled pepper pesto. These are good to just throw in like lazy cooking for with some pasta. And then this one is the classic pesto. And then we also have the grilled vegetable pesto. Okay, there's only one thing left in this first box and it is these. I have never tried them before, but they looked right up my street. They're just little cinnamon crisps. I don't know whether these are more savory or more sweet. I think the word crisps is throwing me off because that you would think savory but it says crispy tea biscuits sprinkled with sugar. So yeah, it's gotta be sweet, right? Okay, this second box actually feels lighter. So maybe there's a little bit less in this one, although it's still pretty big. I would say just for reference, all of this came to about 100 pounds and obviously you get 20% off with my discount code if you were thinking about putting in your first order. Oh, this first one is so exciting. Toilet roll. Ooh. Moving on. <gasps> oh my God. This just made my day. I totally forgot I ordered this. So Tom got Tova in for Christmas and we demolished it in a day, like far too quickly. And I've just remembered I picked up a white chocolate one for myself. <gasps> I also got some Ritz crackers. These are great for with cheese boards. So yeah, picked up one of them any leftover cheeses that we've still got lying around the house. So all we've been doing is just like grazing on cheese boards. I've got three sets of pasta in different shapes. I actually got two of the farfelle. Far farfelle pasta. They're like some of my faves. I don't know why. Why is it when you have a pasta shape, a preferred pasta shape, because ultimately it's the same thing, right? I also got um, a, one of these dry food containers. This one is in like a cereal shape one with a lid. So again, stocking up on my collection of Tupperware. And then I got some microfiber cloths. This is a set of four and they're really pretty colors. I'd have loved it if they had like an all gray and white one, but they have a pink in there as well. I always like to stock up on my tuna from bargain shops like Cherries because I find they're cheaper than supermarkets. So I got this set of four in spring water. I always just like to have tuna in. I don't know why, it's just one of them things that you think, what do I fancy? You've always got tuna in the cupboard. I also picked up this Dove Visible Glow Self Tan Lotion. This one is for medium to dark and I've used this in the past before and really liked it. So stocked up on another one, sort of in between my San Maritz tanning days to just keep it topped up with that. And then I got uh, another one of our Fairy Fabric Softeners. I always use Fairy, or in fact, that's a lie. I've used the rose one from the Mrs. Hinch edition, which I think Cherry's had as well, but I just prefer my good old fairy. And then I got three little new Yankee Candle votives and scents in these sort of festive scents. I know Christmas is over, but Festive scents are always my favorite, especially like pine scented things. So this one I have in Candlelit Cabin. I love the color of that. And that's a good tester as well if you wanted to try it before getting the full size candle. And then I also got Evergreen Mist, is that one? Yeah, Evergreen Mist. And then this one I've never seen before. And it's called Merry Mint Chocolate It's quite sweet, like that one. And then last but not least, ending on one of the best purchases ever for me, present from me to me, Mrs. Always Right, because 
I'm just always right. So that is it. This is the first video for 2021. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, this haul. By all means, send over your suggestions of what you would like to see this year. And this month in particular, it's always quite slow and hard to get into things with all the festive content and the build up throughout October, November, December. You then hit with January on YouTube and you're like, now what? Maybe organizational videos? more hauls like this, do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to use my discount code for cherries if you wanna shop it yourself. Freya20 will get you 20% off your first order. Thank you once again to them for very kindly working with me on this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.